A COVID vaccine is on its way, but after healthcare workers, first responders, and the elderly are inoculated, who gets it next? Did you put this chart together, this, this Tarrant County chart? Yes, I did. Dr. John Silva has an idea, at least when it comes to Tarrant County. But before we get to that, Silva is a former Air Force colonel. He worked with the military to combat bioterrorism for years. Now he's part of UT Arlington's multi-interprofessional center for health informatics and intelligence. Long name. This is just the beginning of the journey. But he and colleague Dr. Stuart Flynn at the Fort Worth School of Medicine are working to streamline complex COVID data to Tarrant County so health officials can better decide which communities should get vaccines first. That's where the decisions get real serious at that point. They even created this map using vulnerability data from the CDC, which includes stuff like area infection rates, cultural geography, access to health care, and movement. The reddest parts on the map are areas where you're more likely to to get COVID. When it's time to decide where doses go, data like this is important. Right. And if something can really help them make a decision so it's not, doesn't appear to be a dart on the wall, um, that has got to go a long way with instilling trust. Dr. Silva and Flynn are also pushing for a vaccine awareness campaign, ads going door to door, you name it. So communities are ready when it's their turn. Not just waltzing in with the vaccines the first day. You're not going to have success. And success starts with these guys behind the scenes who are working hard for a moment that's likely weeks and weeks away. In Fort Worth, I'm Matt Howard.